Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hi, I'm Shane. And today we're going to set up a brand new controller. This is the Culp K8B. Brand new. We're going to set it up, test it, and create a simple sequence to upload to it. And, uh, and make sure everything's working. So what we're going to need for this project is the board itself, the OLED screen that's included with it, the Eagle Bone Black, an S a micro SD card, a 12 volt Meanwell power supply, small flat blade screwdriver, pigtail, and a bunch of pixels. The first thing we're going to do install the beagle bone on the back of the board. Line the pins up, push it on there. Good job. Next we want to open the OLED. Little pins on the slot on the board. Right yep. Next, we'll take the micro SD card, the small one. Get in the beagle bone on the bottom. Turn it over. Turn it over right there. There you go. Perfect. Alright, next we're going to install the power lines. We'll loosen up these screws a little bit. A little bit, not a lot. The red wire is going to go where it says B plus. There, I'm going to put it back down. Good job. That's good, doesn't have to be that tight. And then the black wire goes where it says GND for ground. Good. Not too tight. Alright, next we're going to add a pigtail to port 1. It's going to be this one. Yep, this one. Alright, so this is set up. So the first port is ground. Right here. The ground is going to be the blue wire. The blue wire goes in the first one. It sound right, boy. Green wire goes in the middle one. And the brown wire goes in the last one. that back into the board. Alright, so before we can turn it on, we need to flash 
uh, FPP, Falcon Player, to the uh, micro SD card. We're going to load it in our SD card reader here. Okay, now to set this up, we're going to need to download two different programs. One is called Bolina Etcher, and that is to flash the image, the FPP image, to an SD card. We can't just copy the files over. It doesn't work that way. Uh, the other one, of course, is FPP, and we'll find that at the GitHub. We'll get the latest version, 4.6.1, right there. And we'll download the uh, BBB-based image. The Pi image is for uh, running off a Raspberry Pi or a Falcon card. So we'll download that. Alright, with those installed and downloaded, we'll flash from the file. Uh, there's our BBB image. It's not necessary to unzip it. You can flash it right from the zip file. We'll make sure our uh, SD card is ready to go. Yes, this is the same one we installed in the uh, earlier in the video. We have to pop it out and put it in an SD card reader, of course, and flash it. And this process will take uh, five to ten minutes. So we'll come back and check on that in a few minutes. Okay, now that we're finished burning the image, we can take the micro SD card out of our reader. Take it out. Take the little card out of there. And then stick it back in the beagle bomb. Take the little card out. The little card. Alright, we'll plug in the power supply. You should see the OLED light up. Plug it in. Plug it in. It's gonna take a minute to boot up. This is the first time. Our OLED. Beautiful. When it's done booting up, you can see the OLED display the words player idle and no network at this point. But we can go ahead and press the test button and we should get some pixels lit up. Or I will press it. We got some pixels up. Excellent. So the controller is working. All right. So now that we got it working, we're going to connect it to the network and get it talking. So we'll take that network cable and plug it into the silver port. It sounds right on there, not the black one. Once we plug it in, we should see the link, link lights, the so green and orange LEDs on the network port. And we'll also see on the display, it's found itself an IP address, dot three four. So that's what we're gonna use. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna go to 192.168.1.34. And this is, uh, yep, this is going to be our first launch of the Falcon Player. See this red banner here, storage settings, click that, go to the file system, yes. It's going to run a few scripts, and it's going to ask to reboot it. So we'll reboot it. That should just take a minute or two. 
Okay, now that we've rebooted the current, we're going to go to the home page. Oh, I'm not going to do that yet, so I'm going to set up my network. Uh, we're not worried about wireless here. I'm going to set this to a static IP. So it doesn't change on me. Is that good? Change this to FTP matrix, because I'm going to use to control my new matrix. Again, and we should come back with a new IP address. Alright, so we're just done rebooting. One, two, three, that one, that one, seven, three. And there's our controller. Great. Let's double check the network settings. It's got the new static IP address. It's got the new host name. And it's got the DNS uh, entries. Perfect. I uh, don't need to worry about ah, what's up? the time. TV settings. Time tab. Um, it's pulling. It's got a built in uh, clock, so we'll leave that. We'll just set the time zone here. Start the FPTP daemon. Uh, the other stuff we can fix later. The other thing that will be important for us to check here is the inputs and outputs. What channel outputs, in particular the BBB string. So we got our light set up on port 1. You can see the default is set to 50 pixels. That's why earlier we only saw half the string light up. That's a 100 pixel string. We'll change that to 100. Click save. Get that thing. And now we can go to display testing. Get me the test mode. And all our lights are lit up. Awesome. Okay, with that all set up, here we have a new instance of X Lights, what you see the brand new installation. So to add our controllers, we're just gonna hit discover. Let's do this thing. There's our uh, 173 FPP matrix. Ready to go, it's just that easy. Save that. And we'll go to layout. Uh, we're just going to do a simple thing here. We're going to go with a single line. Right there. We're going to set this to 100 since we have 100 nodes on this strand of pixels. Uh, we're going to assign this to our controller. Our connection is going to be on port number one. Everything else should be okay. Save that. If we want to see it, we can go back to our controller page here. We'll bring up the visualizer. And this is a visual of our, our controller. You can see right here, there's a single line of 100 pixels connected to port 1. So that is good to go. Right there. And then we'll go to the sequencer. I have a little button here to start a new sequence. Let's make this a simple animation. 40 frames per second. Click start. 
start with everything on. Okay. We will start with just a uh let's do a simple bar to check. This is the standard for the testing. This sound white boy. Yeah, got that there. So you just move a little bit. Change the direction so I can see some movement. There we go. And that we should be able to hit the output to lights button. And it should automatically set the controller to bridge mode and start giving us a preview of what's on the screen. Add some color to it. Red, green, blue. That. And then that shows us we're all up and running. That's good. We'll turn that off for now. Next, we will save this as a sequence. We'll call this our first test sequence. Save that. Render it. Save it as a sequence. That's We'll go to Tools, FPP Connect. Okay, there's our sequence. We're going to select that. Um, I'm going to select my other controllers. We just want the FPP matrix. That's what's going to play this right now. And then we'll hit Upload. That's going to send our sequence off to the FPP. Now we are done with X lights. We'll close that out. And we'll bring up our FTP instance again. So two one nine two, that one six eight, that one, that one six three. Currently in bridge mode because of what we were our testing. So we will set that back to standalone. Okay. Um, we can check our file manager. And we can see that we now have our first test sequence is here inside FPP. We'll go to the status page. Right there on our list. Peace and play. And we're now playing our sequence on its own. No X lights involvement whatsoever. So we are set up 100%. And that's how we do it. We're done.